Hello and welcome. My name is Ben, part of the Prisma Cloud team here at Palo Alto Networks, and I'm excited today to talk to you guys about our new Defender Auto Protect features. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So what I'm highlighting today is the fact that we now have support for Azure, GPC, and AWS to auto deploy Defender agents across your infrastructure. So basically how this works is you define rules to automatically de uh, deploy defenders to protect all your new hosts or just a subset of your hosts. So uh, your, your managed some infrastructure or teams that uh, you work with managing infrastructure deployed uh, a, a host. As soon as Prisma Cloud picks up on the fact that that host has de been deployed, it fits, your, it fits your rule for the subset of hosts you want to deploy agents on. And the agent is auto provisioned from Prisma Cloud to deploy on that host. Auto deployment reduces overhead and removes friction from having to manage, uh, monitor and manage multiple uh, deployments, as well as uh, it provides uh, both discovery and auto protection, which you know enables uh, visibility and security coverage. Last thing I want to highlight here is that these agents, once deployed, are auto up, uh, upgradable, so they will upgrade automatically, as well as the fact that we also have support for uh, alternative deployment options. So if you're using you know third-party party tools such as Puppet or Chef or Ansible, as well as you know, possibly using an AMI or VM image-based automation, uh, you, you, can go with, you can go with that approach. Uh, one caveat I do wanna highlight is that uh, Windows VMs as, as well as terminated or stopped VMs are not supported. So now that we've kind of covered the details and covered some of the caveats there, uh, let's go ahead and actually take a look at how this looks in the product. Let's jump into it. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do in this demo is actually we're going to define our rules and then we're going to deploy our virtual machines and then we're going to see um, the auto discovery and auto protection in action. So the first piece here is defining those those auto defend rules right so what we're going to do here is go to manage uh, defenders host auto defend and then we're going to add two rules. We're going to add a rule for our uh, Azure environment so we'll give it a name. Uh, provide the provider, select their uh, console here. We're going to leave this scope to all uh, just for the purpose of this demo, but here's how you could uh, just kind of narrow the scope of this auto deploy rule, meaning, okay, I'm going to create a collection that are only going to be this specific image, or this rule will only apply to uh, a collection of posts that have this specific label, right? But for the purposes of this demo, we're just going to leave this to all. And then um, I'm going to use the um, service key credentials specific to uh, my Azure environment. And then I'm going to hit go ahead and click add. And then I'm going to add uh, my rule for uh, Google. And we'll make sure that we uh, 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 select the correct provider. And we're going to use the same scope. Um, um, ensure that you select the correct bucket region. And then go ahead and select the correct credentials here. And then we'll go ahead and hit apply there. And now let's go ahead and pivot into our cloud service providers, find some um, virtual hosts or virtual machines uh, that we can deploy from the marketplace and go ahead and get those deployed. Okay, awesome. So now we can see on the left side of my screen, I'm in my Azure marketplace, the right side of my screen, I'm on the Google Cloud Platform marketplace. I'm just gonna grab some virtual machine images from each of these and get these deployed into um, both of my cloud environments. So in Azure, let's let's go ahead and set pricing to free, and let's grab like something popular like a cap for a virtual machine. Yeah, one of these will work. I'll grab one of these, get one of these deployed, and then for our Google environment, let's just look at like a WordPress virtual machine. And yeah, one of these will do nicely. I'll grab one of these. I'll go ahead and get these deployed, and then we'll pivot back into Prisma Cloud, and we will see our auto deploy rules in action and see the auto discovery and the auto uh, protect functionality. So just bear with me in a minute and we'll jump right into it. Awesome, so on the left side of the screen, we've got our Azure environment. We can see our Kafka box was successful in deploying in Azure. And on the right side, we've got our Google Cloud uh, environment and we can see our WordPress uh, virtual machine is running as well. So let's go ahead and hit it back into Prism Cloud and see our auto deploy rules in action. Let me just maximize this. Okay, great. And what we can see here is that both of our rules automatically discovered the VMs that were deployed and they went ahead and automatically deployed a defender to protect them. So let's go ahead and take a look in our radar view to learn a little bit more information. So when we pivot back into our radar view, we can visually see both these devices. We see our, uh, our Azure uh, Kafka virtual machine as well as the 
uh, WordPress box that was deployed in Google Cloud. So let's dive a little deeper into the Kafka machine. So here, when we when we click on uh, this host, we get a nice little risk summary. It provides some OS information as well as a high level summary of the sightings that were delivered by our defender scan. So we see the vulnerabilities and we were able to identify one critical risk for both compliance and vulnerabilities here. So you can dive a little bit deeper in here and learn any more of the information that you would like to, as well as like more information about the specific uh, sightings, as well as, you know, different CVEs that are associated and just general best practice on how to remediate those, as well as all the other functionality that is typical to our defender. Let's go ahead and look at our WordPress and see what the results of this WordPress deployment were. So with WordPress, we didn't see a critical risk associated with this host, but we did get a critical compliance risk. And as well, we also have all the associated risk summary information provided here. So that's going to conclude our demo today. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed it, and I hope you were able to see how frictionless and easy it is to use host auto deploy rules to both protect and gain visibility and protection to the virtual machines that are deployed in your cloud infrastructure today. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for all listening, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.